Scargeon Force now settles again. We're ready and we are racing. Away they go. And showing speed is Scargeon Force with hell of a mess from a wide gate and she's Miss Lippy starting to drive through. Belle Fontaine. Well, it's come off the fence early and it's going to settle just behind them, one off the running rail on about fourth. And they'll followed by La Monet and two links to Toucan Dan, then a length and a half further back to Moss and Me and two links to Zupa Ming. They come down to the course proper, 600 metres left to go. It's hell of a mess. Out deep on the track with Scarge and Force and she's Miss Lippy a half length away, but making those other two horses work. And then Belle Fontaine and uh, very uh, poised, ready to make its run just behind the speed. And as soon as I said that came off the bridle, so starting to be pumped along by pace and Toucan Dan now brought to the outside of the track from Moss and Bee, and then comes La Monet. They come out of the straight now, and on the inside, she's Miss Lippy shot through. Leads into the straight from Scarge and Force, Belle Fontaine, hell of a mess. And then comes Moss and Bee, and right down the outside, Toucan Dan. She's Miss Lippy in front from hell of a mess, Belle Fontaine. She's Miss Lippy still. She's Miss Lippy home by three quarters on the line. And it was a wall of them for second, third and fourth. Moss and me, Belle Fontaine, hell of a mess all there. And Toucan Dan down the outside. It got a little crowded over the last 100 metres. Zupa Ming not beaten far. And dropping out La Monet to finish at the tail end of the field with the Kilgowers bookending the race. But she's Miss Lippy.